For my breakfast, I'm about to eat at least three of these fruits that are native here in, in the Philippines. So, these are bananas. They're called lakatan. Okay, and for me, this is uh, the best banana in the world. Now, this one is called atis. Oh, by the way, always remember that when you uh, pronounce Tagalog or Filipino words, you only have to pronounce the vowels one way. And this is how you pronounce it. A, E, E, O, U. There's only one way to pronounce each vowel. Unlike in English, I think there's at least three or maybe two ways uh, in pronouncing every vowel. But the Filipino language, the Tagalog language, is simple. We only pronounce our vowels one way. Okay, so it's simple. It's supposed to be simple. And you cannot pronounce Tagalog words the English way. Now, I digress. <laughs> this is called, this is another type of banana here in the Philippines. It's called Sabah. Okay, Sabah. Okay, incidentally, again, when in doubt, when pronouncing Tagalog words, you usually uh, stress the second syllable. Now, if it's a long word, you stress the second and fourth syllable. Unlike in English again, when in doubt, when you encounter a word for the first time, and it's kind of a long word, your tendency is to stress out the first and third syllable. So see, even in what they call syllabication, English is different from the Philip Tagalog language. So again, I digress. So the last fruit that I have here, my wife actually, I don't know, maybe she bought these fruits or somebody gave them to her. This is called mangosteen. There's no Tagalog word for it. I already looked it up. So yeah, I think I'm going to eat one of these too. Okay, so let's start with the, uh, what's this again? Atis. 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 It's not Atis. It's Atis. Okay? Hold on. Now I'm about to eat Atis. So, uh, before eating this, you have to make sure that you have some kind of container for the seeds. Because this fruit is full of seeds. Let's break this first. Oh, well, you can use a knife too if you want. Yeah, that's what it looks like inside. You, see, you can actually see the seed one of the seeds here. See, that's the seed. So what you do is you you break these apart, you know, in small parts. And then you eat it like this. Hold on. Wow, I'm making a mess. See? See, you eat it like this. Including the seeds. See, this is the uh, the outside part. Put it there in the container, and then you eat it this way. And then you separate the you know the fruit from the seeds. And then this is what you do afterwards. Well, every once in a while, this is what you do. See. That's how I eat it. Mm -hmm. Kind of messy. See, that's it. That's how you do it. Okay. Let's eat one more part here. It's good. I think I ate part of the outside. Okay, so you, when you have, when you're talking to somebody, you can talk while eating because it'll be kind of animated. See, and you can eat it while looking at the outside, you're admiring this. You know what's going on outside. 
And then we we'll always have this container or maybe a napkin or something. I'll show you. Those are all the seeds. They, it's really hard when they go out, you know. Okay, so that's it. Look, look at the seeds. Okay, so that's it. That's for apis. Okay, for my next fruit, I'm gonna eat one of these. This is my favorite banana in the world. It's called lakatan. Okay, so let's open this. Uh, I'll finish the atis. Oh, the atis after eating the banana. Well, how do you do this? Okay, so when you open it, you will notice that. Oh, no, it's not that orange, but you know what? When it gets really ripe, it'll look orange. Yeah, like an orange. And, you know, the taste is really different. Well, for me, it's the best. I cannot describe it, but uh, it's really good. Here. You can only find these bananas in Southeast Asia, but I'm not sure because I haven't been to any other Southeast Asian country yet. So probably the next few years I'll be coming back here before coming here. Maybe I'll go to Vietnam or Malaysia, I don't know, Singapore, Taiwan, and you know, eat their bananas. Let's see if they have this. But this is my favorite. Lakatan. Okay. See that. It's not well, it's light orange, but like I said, when it gets really ripe, it becomes orange. Okay, so now I'm about to eat this. Mangosteen. There's no Tagalog word for it. I already looked it up. And I'm going to eat a part of it right now. I, I, I won't be able to finish it probably, but I still want to taste it. Okay, here goes. Okay, so now I'm going to break it. I'll be removed this first. You also break it with your hands. You know, if you don't have that strength, then you can use a knife. I don't know if I'm strong enough to open this, but let's see. Break it. Oh, man, I haven't had these in a while, so I don't know how to break it. Okay. That's it. See? The best part of it is the fruit that wraps the seeds again. Look at that. So let's eat one of the, uh, you know, the seeds. Mm. It's kind of sweet and sour at the same time. Well, it's good. Look at that. You don't eat the red part, I think. You just eat the, the fruit that wraps the seeds. Okay, not the seed again. Again, when you eat the seed, you'll, you'll have a hard time when it goes out. Well, it depends. But, man, don't eat the seeds. And always look for your ever-ready container. Because you're going to do the, uh, the spitting the seed part. Again, you're talking to somebody, yeah, you just spit it. I'm gonna eat one more. It's actually good. Oh, kind of sour too. Sweet and sour. It's kind of cold in here. But you know what? In the Philippines, it always has humid weather. So um, it's comfortable here, right? Inside the room. But when you once you go out, you first, when you open the, the door, the balcony, you will have a sniff of some of the air that's kind of, it has a distinct smell, but you'll get used to it right away, right? And it's like nothing, you know, you're back to normal. I think the brain does that. You get adjusted to things, to your environment easily, just like that. So, for example, 
when you're here in the Philippines, there are lots of beautiful places, but there are also, you know, some of those shady places. They're really, at first, when you, when you look at them, when you look at the surroundings, it's kind of jarring, but then your brain adjusts quickly. It's like, for you, it's like, okay, I haven't seen a place like this, but, you know, it's kind of a different kind of feeling, being in a shady place, and then maybe drive for a few minutes, and then go to a beautiful place. So everything is here in Manila. Okay, so, well, that's it. Okay, for my last fruit, I'm going to eat one of these. This is also another type of banana that's local here, or native here in the Philippines. Uh, this is called sabah. Second syllable, sabah. Let's open one of these. Uh, the Tagalog word for banana is saging. And this is another type. I forgot to tell you that you cannot eat this uh, after buying it uh, from the market. No, you have to boil it, I think. I remember uh, my mom boiling this. And um, when it's boiled, you have to, of course, let it cool down before you eat it. Okay, it has a very thick banana peeling. See, there are a little bit of strands. So that's, that's what it looks like. It's kind of it's kind of chubby, right? Okay, so let's see. Let's have a bite. <clears throat> it depends on how long you boil it. For example, if you if you see the water um, really boiling, right? Maybe you you wait for a f I don't know maybe a minute more, and then you get it all out of the water. Yeah, it cool down, and then you can eat it. This is not that sweet, this particular banana, unlike the Lakatan. The Lakatan is the best one. But see, this type of banana is what they used to uh, cook banana kill, or turon. This type of uh, banana, the saba. It's like... Um, banana that has to be boiled or cooked right or fried to be able to be tasty and like you already know that banana cube when they cook banana cube and turon they add a little brown sugar to it right because it's not that sweet if you like bananas that are not too sweet then this banana is for you mm. well I like the lakatan more because after you buy it you can eat it right away, right? You don't have to cook it anymore. But toron is one of my favorite dessert in the Philippines. Toron and banana hill. I like I like both of them, banana hill and toron. But most of the time, I like toron more because um, it has this wrapper, right? It's wrapped in uh, egg roll wrapper, and when you fry it, it's crispy. So it's crispy, sweet, and sometimes when they when they cook turon, they put uh, jackfruit in it. You know, jackfruit uh, um, is sweet too. So it has a different texture too. So turon for me, if I'm gonna choose between banana kiu and turon, I choose turon. Again, second syllable, turon. It's not turon. Okay. Banana cube is banana cube, okay? But turon is turon, second syllable. So it's also like a Tagalog lesson. So, okay, this is um, saba. You have to cook it, you have to boil it, you have to fry it. Okay? That's it. See you on the next video, okay? Okay. Yeah, that's
Team dito, libre. Senior oh, libre. Oh. Ah, ba? Pero mag may bayad talaga? May bayad dito, 25 pesos per 2 uh, hours. Eh, pero nandiyan si mama eh. Kaya nga, senior. Libre. Mm, okay. Kaya mamaya, ilalabas namin yung mga ID namin para may discount. Diba validate? Uh, so validate yan. Hindi, tsaka may discount ka sa akin na saan. Ah, gano'n ba? Oo. WD ako. Ano yun? Wala pa si, si Nonoy, wala pa kasi 60. Persons with disability. Ah, wala pa siya kasi 60 okay. kaya wala pa siya yung... Wala pa si ID niya. Sa US ba may senior ID? Wala eh. Wala Walang discount ang senior doon? Doon tayo sa parking. Basta yung tanda mo sa addiction, yung pagka sinasupplyan mo, hindi ka na nun. Pag may pinintroduce ka ng foreign substance, ako, naaasin ko pa sa wine. Hindi mo naman alam kung ano siya nasa... Proof siya.
may talamansi, kailangan mo, ipitas ka na lang. 